And we're back for the final hour of tonight's session, and... The, I should have uh, saved my burb. You should have saved your burb. Why didn't you save your burb? I, um, I guess I'm just too polite to burb on stream. I can if you want me to, though. No, 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 no. It's, it's okay. Sure? Yeah, I'm I positive. I quickly need to check something here, because I have another ability that might help me a little bit with this. Mm -hmm. Supersonic burb! No. no! Burb of the Emperor! No! As must be quiet. Part <laughs> of the Emperor? <laughs> Heresy! Heresy, Rasmus. <laughs> what? It's a mighty, holy, miracle power that blows your enemy away and makes gag on the holy gases Why of is... the Emperor's rectum. Okay, Why I want you to I listen. Not... I want on, you to listen please. very, very carefully, Rasmus. Do you hear this sound? No. Okay, that was the sound of my, me cocking my gun. Yes. Why do you have a cock gun? <laughs> I knew I, you would come in on that. I, that, that. That had to happen. Yep. Is it like a dildo shooter? No. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> From what? Okay, the reason why I'm asking, uh, well, I was asking before if this is in any way fear related, is mm -hmm. because I actually have um, an ability that would allow me to then re roll if I fail. Hmm. Okay. Well, this isn't fear as such. It's 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 pure madness. It's your mind's ability to to process what's what you're witnessing. Sure, sure, sure. So I would like you all to roll me a willpower test. Okay. What's the modifier, if any? There is no modifier for this one. Okay. Yeah. I'll try it your way. You suggested to the character sheet. Cool. Oh dear. Oh Why? Dear. Repeat. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wow. I'm impressed. Is this like one of the points where I should s try and use one of them, their fate points? You could, yeah. but, but it, it's, it's, it's not like it you're your, Well, that gives you a reroll. That's the thing. He can use it as a reroll. Abs oh, absolutely. absolutely. He can use it as a reroll. But, but I, I will do that because I have quite a few of them being void born. Okay. Yep. Let's see if I can do better this time. You Yay! Can yep. yeah, I'm going I'm to do the same if that's all right. Yep. Yes. No, it's only all right for me. <laughs> Especially considering... Um, I don't know. Oh, very good. Oh, very wow, good. Wow, we are good. Yep. And yeah. You rolled 11. Neat they had to roll as well, yeah. Yes. So I think based on the fact we had to re-roll it, I can just imagine... Akalon starting to feel panicked and then summoning up some reserve of strength and composing himself. Yeah, cool. Uh, Medea, can you roll a willpower test for me, please? Are you even present? I think she might not be. You swallowed a fish. Damn it. Okay. We okay. must wait. Yeah, I think I think we'll take we'll we'll get a, a, a willpower roll from her when she returns. In the meantime, uh, Tim, are you still going to to remain outside the, the the facility? I think I will slow move to meet up with the others okay. while um, eyeing you no. Know, any high points for potential enemies. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, you reach the others slowly and steadily. What about Akalon? Are you going to do anything specific or... Um, as you stand there taking in the scene? Train an army of flying monkeys. Nope, please don't. No. I would say I mutter I think Akalon mutters under his breath and along the lines of Emperor protect us. And but he'll he will he'll have been sticking fairly close by to um to Francesca following her advice and he will probably just yeah be roughly about a yard or so behind her with his um gripping his staff 
and uh, and in one hand and his pistol in the other, in a sort of ready yes. position that, otherwise. That is probably the right place to be right now. I am. Uh, are, you, are you present? AJ! It's like trying to have a seance, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any AJs with us? <laughs> <laughs> Knock twice if you can hear us. <laughs> Shut up. I, I, I... <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Let's get out the Ouija board. No. Might... Imagine having to roleplay through a Ouija board. No. That would just be horrible. No. <laughs> yeah. no, no. Okay, so anyway. Shall we just move on? Yeah, I think yeah we can so. move no, on and... Not... Then just, we just, let's just assume she failed and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not a fear test. So even if she fails, she doesn't. If she, she just it, ends up with a few insanity points. Yep. And you insanity, want to eat insanity, the corpses. One, in, not ones for yes, two for no. Insanity points are at least something you can get rid of again. Yes, yes. you can. That's good. But we, we say we we can probably deal with that later. But for now, we can at least move on. Yep. But at least I'm. I'm. We we are now hopefully fully aware that we are going to see some pretty horrific stuff here, and consequently we are at least a little more prepared for it. Mm. Heine. Yeah. As I move closer, mm -hmm. um, and do keep in mind that Sim has a limited uh, set of experiences, but does this look diseasy, or does it look like something else? Do you have the Medicaid skill? I do not. Okay, then in in your best guess, is it is not a disease. Well, that just has me even more worried. Also, I think at this point I need to mention um, because um, Chris, you may not be, be aware of this or thinking of it. That you do have a skill, uh, or you may have, I don't know if you put any ranks in it or, or, or XP in it or not, but you may have a skill named uh, Cynicians. Yes, yes I do. I, in fact, I do have uh, I have a, uh, a point in Cynicians. Okay, and, and the reason, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not mentioning it because, because it, it particularly applies to this case, it may, it may not, but just, just in general, uh, remember that you have it, and, and remember to use it, because it may serve you well as you encounter um, warp entities. Oh or... dear! Yes, Medea has rejoined us to a failure in her, in her insanity roll. Cool. Um, I, uh, you can, if you wish, uh, re-roll it by spending one of your fate points. Why? Because you failed it, and you may you you can if you wish re-roll it, uh, because you you may not want to fail it. it. It's an option. Well, getting a little more insane than she already is. I don't see the big problem. No, no, I, I'm just I'm I'm just making sure that you know that you have the option. Hmm. I'm, I think I'm not, I'll not... save it until I'm dying. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 it's cool. That, that, wait a second. Wait a second. I I think the point is, you can use. Fate points in more ways than to save yourself. If you use them to save yourself, you burn a fate point and you lose it permanently. You have, every time we play, you have as many fate points as you have left that haven't been burned as rerolls. Yep. So, if how many fate points do you have right now? Three. Three. Good. That means you have three rerolls per uh, game night. If you then save yourself from getting killed and burn a fate point to avoid that, then you will only have two rerolls per evening going forwards. All right, I spend one and see if I make that. That's even okay. worse. Okay, it but... might be worth noting what the what you get from insanity point. Why are they bad? Yes. So basically, um, you you accumulate insanity points throughout the game, and as soon as you reach a certain threshold, I, I think it's every ten insanity points you reach. Yes. This. You make a, um, you risk uh, getting a 
Uh, what are they called? Uh, mental Sorry. trauma. Yeah. Uh, and these mental traumas are... Um, they, they present you, apart from, from being in a role-playing opportunity, they present you with, with, with a, a disadvantage of some kind. Um, uh, and they last anywhere from, from hours to days, depending on the specific mental trauma you, you get. Um, and at certain points, uh, you, you also, as you accumulate these insanity points, you also get, or at least risk, getting uh, actual disorders yes. which are permanent uh, states of insanity. It is worth pointing out that there is a slight advantage to having at least a few insanity points. Mm -hmm. Just a slight advantage. Because, let's say you have 12 insanity points. For every full 10 you have, you ignore uh, if you run into a creature that has a so-called fear rating, it can have a fear rating of one, two, three, four, however many. But if you have, again, 12 insanity points, you are past the 10 mark, and that means you ignore the fear, everything that has a fear rating of one. You just ignore, because you're yep. already so far gone that it doesn't, it, it isn't scary anymore. Yep. And consequently, the, the, the sweet spot <laughs> to be in... <laughs> It's between 20 and 30 points of insanity because if you go above 30, you start developing insanities. <laughs> but you, until that point, you ignore everything that has a fear rating of one or two. Yep. So basically. Anyway, my reroll were worse. Yes. Okay. Way worse. So it's just to explain what what uh, what insanity yes. is and what can happen as you accumulate these uh, these these points of insanity. But yeah. since you 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 failed your your insanity check, I uh, uh, test. Um, Do we use the shock table? The shock table. Page two two hundred and thirty-three. Thirty-three. Uh, two hundred and thirty-three. The uh, thirty. Okay, so. Oh, PDF work. I have it here. Otherwise, but yeah. Uh. Is that for fear? I think it is. Yes, yes, it is. That's yes, exactly for, for fear. That, that's that's for that's uh, we we do use that for for fear effects. All right, then I should roll at the hundred and add fifty. But wasn't this it, an it insanity was, it effect was, it and not fear, fear? It wasn't a fear test. It was an insanity. Oh right, test. right, right. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, so anyway, you, uh, Medea, you gain uh, two points of insanity. Great. Okay. Cool. No. Oh. She crazy. <laughs> she already were. I'm actually surprised I didn't start out with at least twenty in insanity. But sure. No, no. You, you can, you can roleplay being a bit unhinged, but, but from a mechanical. Uh, from a mechanical so, point, so. she isn't actually insane, she even is, though she what she's been through. Yep. No, she's a she's a child of her of of her circumstances, so yep. to say. Yeah, but. Yep. Children isn't barred from being insane, though. No, no, but but uh, uh, I get what from you're saying. From mechanical, I get it. I from get mechanical it. standpoint, it's she's it's insane now. Well, she's not insane. She's uh, still stable. Um, she will. She, she gets. She needs to get twenty-eight more insanity points before she has a, a chance of developing an actual clinical insanity. Hmm. All right. Okay. So there you are in this long hallway <coughs> leading into a storage area of sorts or reception area or whatever it is. And by, along by this th hallway, there's quite a few dead people. I have to point out here for a second. Hmm? I feel slightly nauseous. Oh, I just, I just did a rules thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, oh, the horror. <laughs> I think you're nauseated. Yes, I am, in fact, affected by the condition nauseated. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Because otherwise you would inspire nausea in others. <laughs> if you are nauseous. Okay, anyway. We are in the hallway. <laughs> yep. Good. The hallway is uh, lit after I turned on the, the light switch? Yes. Good. Okay. Well, I hope it's good. Anyway, uh, 
I uh, well, I take lead uh, okay. because again, should something start shooting at us, it's better than it's that it's got a reasonable chance of hitting power armor than it has of hitting squishy psyker. That makes a ton of sense, I think. Yes. Squishy Psyker is not bulletproof. Nope. If only he was. For real? Yeah. Um, I wonder, is it worth using Sinusense here now, since it was brought up casually in conversation? <laughs> I think you may want to. Sinusense is probably what? going to be the thing you roll the most in this game. What does mm -hmm. it do? Okay, it, it, it allows it, it allows the psyker or whoever has the the skill to to sense the the presence of of psychic entities, yes. it's such as demons and, and other sixth, psychers. And... Sixth sense. Yep. Okay. Let's see. So just roll standard D hundred. Now, I. Uh, I mean, with what we have just seen out there is is inhuman to begin with. It's quite likely that there was something icky. Mm. 42. But what that icky so... was... How many successes, uh, degrees of success is that? I'm not sure. What is now your... you're wishing you used the rolling thingy. Yes. What is yes, what is your sanition skill at? What what is uh, what what are you rolling under? Or what are you? What's the number you need to roll under? Oh God! Um, in that case, I've failed quite spectacularly. It's the number I needed to roll under is thirty-one. Okay, so that's one full ten. So that's the one degree of failure. Okay. So be, the reason why I asked about success is it's an, it really it's not that important when you fail, but if you do uh, succeed on a sanitions test, the number of degrees determine exactly what it is you you get out of it. If it's just a standard success, you you feel some kind of presence. Mm, if yeah. if there's one success, then you get a general location from. Uh, Where? Uh, yeah, exactly. And well, if, it's, if it's two or more, then the, 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 you get the exact location. Okay, now I have to ask a silly question. Mm -hmm. What stat is Cynicians based on? Cynicians is a perception. It's a perception skill, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. not that perceptive then. No, that's mm. the problem. It's uh, because, yes, my perception is. 31. Well, you can buy Cynicians up and you can buy um, uh, your, uh, what's it called? Uh, yes, that, your <laughs> perception up. I will, uh, given time. Yeah, of course. For now, Akalon gently... Is clueless. Poops yeah, gently, himself. No, he, um, he, he places his staff in the crook of his right hand and holds his head a minute and says I am unable to determine any psychic influences in the area I see well thank you for the uh, thank you for the attempt yes and, do not uh, assume that there is do not assume that there is no witchcraft, only only know that so far my attempts to perceive it have failed. Very well. Um, well, I, I proceed further in uh, now realizing that we have that uh, uh, to contend with, that um, uh, Akalon did not, in fact, sense anything, and that clearly it gave him a slight headache. Um, okay. But still, um, Francesca is, is, is proceeding carefully. And every time we reach something like a corner or something, she will try to, well, she will listen first. And if she doesn't hear, you know, growling or anything around the corner, she will probably, 
or she will try to push something or throw something into the new hallway that, that they're entering just in case there's an automated uh, mm. defense system that starts opening fire. Well, um, Sister Francesca remembers from the from the I did. Did you bring the the data slate with you? I would say so. Yes, it's okay. the map. But exactly. Then then it's a matter of looking at the data slate and and um, confirming that the okay. uh, there 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 is this long hallway leading out, uh, leading to the uh, to a storage area of sorts. Um, yes, probably the and, cells. And if the uh, in this storage area. This large uh, circular room is, in fact, a defense system. A two turrets um, aimed aimed at the hallway you are, you are going down now. Yes. So if they're active, then you have them to contend with. Yes. On the other hand, if they are active, then presumably they would also shoot at anything in the actual room. Mm -hmm. Um. There is no other approach to that to that room except the hallway we're going down. There are um, um, there are several uh, on each side of the hallway. There are several um, exits, uh, doors leading into into smaller hallways leading further into the uh, the complex. Um, um, so th and and eventually uh, as. I I Navigating those hallways will eventually lead to this uh, to the uh, the storage area as well. Um, it'll take longer. Yes, but we might not get shot at by auto cannons. <laughs> there is that. I, I'd there rather not that. get shot at by auto cannons because auto cannons hurt like hell. Yep. Uh, so, so or even heavy stubbers or whatever the hell they've got in those things, they hurt like hell. They do. So I'm 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 going with the smaller, longer, a uh, smaller uh, shaft and the longer uh, travel route. Okay. So, um, AJ, I know you you said you mentioned in chat that you don't need to know anyway, um, but. The uh, the skill you're looking for is either security, or uh, maybe tech use in in some use. some cases. Uh, security and and tech use um, can be used to to bypass uh, security and and security uh, defense systems. Oh. Just, just so, uh, because it's it's an absolutely valid question and yeah, it definitely is. So, well, Medea does have tech use. She does? Cool. Yeah. Much nice. It's a basic well. skill for her. Yes, because being scum means you have access to all manner of mm, nice true. things. You 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 are the jack of all trades and definitely a master of none, but you yep. definitely get a lot of very useful things. Yep. It's also an underhive thing. Yep, exactly. It's so. a hive thing, not an underhive thing. Um, well, yes, if you're a hive welder, yes. Yes. Um, so, so yeah, I I would accept either security or tech use, but it would require access to to uh, a cogitator or other device controlling the security the security yeah. in the in this place. So basically, we need to find a computer, which is what they in the game call a cogitator. Yeah, but if we yeah. come across one of them, then Medea would be able to. Yeah. Yeah, uh, to see yes. if she could. Yes, absolutely. Okay, possibly. Yep. Okay. Well, then we have to be on the lookout for one of those them are thingies. Them are thingies. But yeah, like I said, the uh, there's howdy partner. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's the main hallway, this large one leading down into the storage area, and there are several exits on either side of the the hallway. Uh, so those are your options. Yes. Well. We um, we do not want to get shot to pieces, so seeing as Francesca is leading the way, she will veer off into one of the smaller hallways. No okay. way she's going to get shot up by that. Even if she could possibly take a couple of hits from something like that, none of the others can. Okay. So you take one of the doors leading leading yes. into away from this this hallway. Yes. Okay. yes. I I do study for a moment the the uh, the data slate to find which of the doorways I need to go through to find the fastest other route. Sure. 
Okay, and you 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 uh, you look at the data slate, the map, the schematics, and decide yes. on a, on a door, and and you start moving toward the door. When yeah. the go go the glow globes that's a difficult word to say uh, yes. in in the um, in the what? ceiling the glow, glow globes. globes the lamps oh lamps. the glow globes okay <laughs> yes I get that <laughs> in in the ceiling uh, all go out and and darkness descends once more. Oh my goodness! Here we go. So, did you say you could make? Say I could make what? Say, did you say you could make light? I think he's referring to you, Aquaman. Or should I rather say accountant or something? <laughs> mm. It's interesting that. Light? No, my abilities... What I can create is the... produces an effect similar to a flashbang grenade. It blinds yeah. people. So, yeah. yes. The light would be instantaneous and of no use to you, and the noise would alert anything and everything in the vicinity to our presence. You're right. It's not an option then. Hmm. How do we get the lights back on? We will need a cogitator for that. I'm looking at the data slate again. If mm -hmm. there's any uh, notes of where such a thing might be. Sure. Uh, the uh, the door you were planning on taking or mm -hmm. going through is it leads into one of the the six uh, sections of of the facility, the uh, the mm -hmm. holding sections, and within this. Uh, each section also has a smaller area reserved for for guards and 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 uh, control of these these sections. Um, yes. And you will find a cogitator there. Okay. Well, then that's what we have to do. Okay. Moving obviously very carefully now. Sure. Since it's dark. And all. Yes. Okay. Yes. But you do have the schematics, so you you know uh, you, you yes. have a. a Good grip of the, uh, the layout. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you open the door and you move into the um, into this this uh, holding section uh, the, the, that you've chosen, and you have absolutely no light because the light in there is also nothing. Out. Yeah. Um. So I assume uh, that Sister Francesca is still taking points. Yes. Okay. As she does so, mm -hmm. she starts moving into the section, and there is, uh, it, it would be wrong to say that there's no light, there is some kind of light maybe coming from, you don't quite know where, but it's it's not complete, complete darkness. It's um, just very dark, it's like it's, walking into a very dark room. Yep, uh, after having been in a room, uh, in a lit room, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can make out the, uh, the as your light as your eyes adjust to the darkness. You can make out the uh, the cells that that make up this this section of of the facility. Um, yes. And you move through these narrow hallways um, yes. with with cells on either side of them, and um, there's eerie silence the only th the only sounds you can hear are the sounds of your own breathing and the the noise your equipment makes as as you walk forward and i would like you to make a uh, specifically for sister francesca since you're walking um point front, man a perception test Ugh. evil you that's my worst stat oh i'm so sorry then why are you walking in front because I'm also the most armored. Yeah, tank. That's not too bad. I'm. I still miss it, but it's not by a full uh, degree. No, it's not. It's not a full degree, but it's it, it's still a failure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, you you walk through this this barrel, uh, as suppose you can tell, empty section of the, the facility, and mm -hmm. you do reach. 
an area where uh, the area where this cogitator is is located. Yes. Excellent. Um, she uh, points that out to uh, Medea, and then she stops and and uh, pay, she's she's very well. I would say she's very alert. We're still talking about someone with shit poor perception, but she is doing her damnedest because you know now I have to stand guard over her while she works on this archaic piece of yeah machinery. Yeah. Yep. Archaic piece of shit crap. It is. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's a very good point. Basically, a four eighty six thing. Yes. Uh, in in terms of running, computers. running, running, uh, DOS. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It is. It is ancient machinery. It's it's yes. it's, it's old, hundreds maybe years old. But anyway, you you reach the the area where and you see this device because the the screen is is uh, is lit up. There there's it, it's active. The cogitator is active, and slumped uh, over this this machine, or at least the um. The, uh, what's it called? The keyboard uh, is what appears to be a guard. guard. Maybe um, he's at least armed with a uh, with a last pistol and very much dead. Okay. So, Medea, do you uh, you try to use this? ancient bit of machinery that is the cogitator. Sure. Okay. So in order for you to use it, you would have to roll me a tech use. And that's on intelligence. Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know because it didn't say when I got it. It is intelligence. And remember, if you don't have any, uh, okay, okay. Nope, this is so, too old. Where's my smartphone? It's it's there is no smartphone. This is as good as it, as modern as it gets, really. Um, so you you muster the the appropriate um, prayers to the machine spirit within the cogitator, and you 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 simply can't the the screen works there is you see this this indicator in the top left um this the the the, the blinks uh, but you you can't get it to work you can't type anything okay well i told that to Francesco. can't get it to work Well, I am. Uh, did it actually shut down when she did not manage to get in? No, no, no. Can she no, try no. again. She, she can try again. Then she says, "Keep trying." Oh, Jesus wept. Why? Okay, so same result, really. Your 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 prayers to the machine spirit seem useless. It, she it doesn't. doesn't pray to the machine spirit. She doesn't know what that is yet. She <laughs> probably she probably does, I think, because it's well, yeah. apparently it isn't answering. Nope. Because the prayers to the, the machine damn spirit phone is machine spirit. prayers to the machine machine spirits is an is a basic integral part to to how you handle technology. Yeah. Alright, uh, so well, you I wouldn't... didn't know that because no one has ever told me. No, no, yeah. I, it's it's fine. I'm just, that's that's why I'm mentioning it. It's, it's because <laughs> mm. you didn't. I'm, it, no. I'm I, well. Francesca keeps saying, "Keep trying until the damn thing shuts down." She's going to let Medea keep working on it. Okay. Fine. I will also keep bad, by the way. <laughs> this is so terrible. I know. have a week. Stop. Ooh, even stop. worse. Stop. Stop. You, something you do. Actually makes this the the display a shut down. It okay. you hear the 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 sound of the, uh, the the screen going dark. Well, be happy we're not outside without tech because then her intelligence would have been sixteen. 
<laughs> How can your rolls be that consistently rubbish? I think, and let because me just check. Now I'm supposed to roll low, mm-hmm. and I'm not rolling low because I'm supposed to roll low. Like when I'm supposed to roll high, I don't. Alright. Your gremlins are with you always. And- yep. I'm gonna fucking kill your gremlins. I'm glad you added gremlins after that short break. I'm going to fucking kill you, gremlins. <laughs> when Medea curses loudly. Okay, Medea curses loudly. Yeah. Can can I make another sensitivity test, or is that? You can. You can. You can always attempt a, a sensitivity test. Perception and no modifier, I assume. No modifier. Okay. It is what is called in in game terms a challenge. Yay! One success. One degree of success. One degree of success, you say? Precisely. Yes. And how far out? Because there's there's a limit to how far out uh, you can sense. Uh, what, success, what, you what is your, sense. your perception bonus? Uh, oh god. That is the tenth, the tenth digit. 31 would it be then? Oh, then it would be 3, right? Yep. 3. Okay. 3, so it's, it's, it's the number of meters equal to your perception bonus plus 1d10. Yep. Each degree of success allows you to add 1d10 plus BP, uh, PB meters to your roll. So basically, in this case, because you had one degree of success, um, you I need to roll a d10. You need to roll two d10 plus twice your PB. Okay, so it's two d10 plus six. Hmm. And that's just okay. to determine how far out your sinusians, your sixth sense reaches. So eleven okay. meters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. You don't. You don't sense any psychic presence in the immediate area. Mm. That's not actually true. You do. You do sense. As you open up to the warp, you do. You do sense. That. So there, there. At this moment in time, there's no active presence, but there's some lingering presence going on, mm. and that's throughout the entirety of of your reach. All around. All around you. Beginning to sense something. Uh, what does that mean? There's uh, a residue of a presence in this facility, a psychic presence, everywhere, all around. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, that be someone like you? No, not me. I recognize my own my own presence. No, this is something foreign, something else. If anything, I suspect that those reports of witchcraft in our target have some accuracy to them. The presence, isn't, the presence isn't direct. It's not here, but it was. Or it is, and it isn't active. I see. <coughs> still, I'm sure what good that does us if we still can't see a damn thing. Not much. And as far as I can tell, our only means of getting the lights back on has... Uh, there may be another cogitator elsewhere, but we need to find it first. Do we have any alternatives for light sources? 
Uh, uh, I know the data pad can't be uh, lit up, can it? Well, it, 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 there's there's a certain backlight, or what? What's it called when when you have the? Uh, yeah, but it's it's not. You can't. Uh, yeah, but what I mean is on. You know, on or if if we are talking smartphones, you can also use it as a as a flashlight. Yeah, but there, there, uh, no, there's no no such. No, I didn't imagine. So nope, there isn't. I'm However, just asking again, out of character. Why didn't any one of us bring a flashlight? Because <laughs> we didn't. It seems very silly right now. Yep. Yes, it does. <sighs> we could try and make it make a torch or something. That is possible. Yes, if we can find anything flammable. However, if we do that, we also risk starting any fire suppression systems. I already took my shower. Shall we? I suppose we should try and find the other one then. Yeah, another cogitator and try again. Okay. It is quite likely that the that that it is uh, possible to try from a different terminal. Uh, but I can't, of course, guarantee that it's not a, a system that shuts down everything. We will have to see. Where I check, I check the um, the pad again. Okay, so each section of these uh, these holding areas have. Um, has a, a, a cogitator. Yes. Well, we will have to try the next one. Okay. Same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. Same procedure as last year. Okay, so you enter into the uh, the adjacent sector. Um, yes. And you eventually... It, it takes a while because you're going in blind. Uh, you yes. have no lights and it's it's completely dark. And you walk through these these narrow corridors, and the 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 smell of blood is heavy, ever present, um, and and heavy and quite quite disturbing. Old blood, old blood smells really foul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't understand why people like blood sausage. <laughs> because it doesn't smell of old blood. But eventually... So, I'm asking now, because that might actually be a thing. Awareness! What do you use that for? Awareness is actually, whenever I've mentioned the... Uh, I've mentioned perception a few times, but as I recall, awareness have... is the actual skill you roll for it. Uh, there's, there's a difference. Well, if you don't have awareness, you, could, you, can, also, you can also wear perception, which it's, which it's based on. But you, there is there is the possibility that you may have uh, you may have increased your awareness score. Uh, I have. It, it's so you would roll yeah. that then, it, mm. it's a, and it's a good thing you mentioned. It. So if we have just unlocked awareness, that doesn't let us any bonus. We need to get to the plus ten or. Well, the thing is, the thing is, if you if you haven't unlocked a skill and it's a basic skill, you roll it at half. Your characteristic that means if you have say 32 in perception and you you don't have the awareness skill you can still roll it but it's at half your your perception yeah. so if yeah. you don't have it and you have 44 that means you have to roll under 22. Yep. yes all right have... well exactly. good thing i do have awareness then yep i have awareness plus 10 so i have to roll under 47. yep that's very good that is very good and it's a good thing you mentioned it because I'd completely forgotten the uh, the awareness skill. It's it's going to it's going to come in handy. So you it, get, wait, you have access to plus ten at at uh, at at rank one. Wow. I spent hundred XP to get it better. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm but the, just the fact that you can get plus ten. As a scummer, uh, yes, you have wow. the basic skill yeah. as basic, and then you can buy it up. Wow. Well, there are wow. some some advantages to being scum. <laughs> yep. Would I'm you the then scum have to buy them both? Dang, that's nice. Well, you you would have to to unlock the skill itself, and then yes, you would have for, to get the the plus ten. You'd have to purchase purchase the plus ten for additional XP. Okay. So, as you walk through this place, you, it, it's up to you to mention if you want to if you want to active, actively roll for awareness. Uh, it, she does to... because she's aware a little shit. Okay, I it just makes wanted sense. to mention it because you said that if I ask you to, then you have to. 
<laughs> but you didn't I actually say too. that I should. True, true. At any point, you can always ask me, hey, can I roll this, uh, yes. this, this skill? You can always do that. Um, All right. Be because you you may as a player you may have thought of something that that for your character that I I I don't I didn't think. Fuck this shit. Perhaps wow. rolling some. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not rolling anything again. I also I'm wish to try Heine. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, that's the failure, but it's not a bad one. Oh. True. Okay, so basically, you you you're trying to be aware of your surroundings and wary, as as the word was used. Um, and and as you you walk through these narrow hallways, you you don't perceive any threats of any kind. And you do reach the uh, the other the second cogitator eventually. Good. Well, then, same procedure again as last year. Yep. Yep. So. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> Go home, dear. Does we she get any? Does she get any kind of bonuses from the fact that she at least knows what not to do from the last one? I'll give a plus ten. Oh, that means that's only a a point three failure. Mm -hmm. So, by all means, keep going. Until, until, until I You're the only one who can do it. Yep. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, That's wait, a wait. minus eight. I have added the plus ten I have. Oh, okay. Cool. Nope. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this okay. is hilarious. So you you, you nope. keep rolling until I say, st I, until I say, say stop. Uh, and you because... can, remember, you can also re-roll when nope. he says stop. Yep, you can also re-roll when I say stop by using fey points. Nope. This is amazing. The rest of you, what are you doing while Yay! she... Uh, she... Yes, yes, yes! Uh, standing shit. guard. Okay, you're standing yeah, guard. Standing guard, but this is absolute madness. It is Should I roll madness. an awareness for standing guard? You you might. You might want to, yeah. I will do that. Also, AJ finally succeeded. <laughs> and I slightly succeeded, yay! <laughs> cool. So basically, uh, what 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 awareness might do is is prevent surprise attacks, for instance. Um, uh -huh. So yeah. so it's always a good idea for you to say, "I roll awareness <laughs> in in a situation where you you're standing guard." Absolutely. Um, okay. So eventually, eventually, this damned machine spirit actually answers. Um, Most obnoxious one of its kind in the MPA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, answers your your prayers and responds to your ministrations and sputters into life. The screen activates and there is the the uh, the eye you the inqui the inquisitorial eye that you've come to recognize on the screen. All right. You now have access to to the system. Okay. Um... Perfect. I think the only reason it reacted was because her last prayer included if, please do this, and if you don't, my little friend, I'll rip the screen off and feed it to your children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Threats work. Uh, anyway, um, turn, turn the lights on and um, and disengage any automated defense mechanisms. <laughs> All right. She starts roaming around after lights because she can't actually read, so she's doing this by well, well, I can point out which I can point out which ones she needs to point or go to yes, because and, you know I can read. Yeah, and the, the menu also has certain icons that that enable mm. you to, to find it. Um, well, it does say that the tech use is intuitive. Mm. Yes. yes. So yeah. Okay, so you you reach you you find the. Uh, the, the the place where you need to 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 activate the lights and you do so and the lights come back on and there's now and lights in the building no and I like then... I went from a minus three point four degrees of success to plus three point four yes um, Medea yeah um put something on there um as a code so that she something you know as a code so she can't just turn the lights off wherever she is okay 
Because otherwise we walk five steps and she'll turn it off again. Medea does show. Okay. Okay, cool. With 3.4 degrees of success, you're absolutely able to include that in, in your, your tech thingy you're doing right now. So, yeah, cool. Um, you do so. And I'm just taking all the minuses as a wrestling match with whoever were on the other side. Yeah, abs absolutely. <laughs> Whatever the case, or it, it was this machine spirit. If machine spirits exist, yeah. that's a matter of contention. It, it, was, uh, it, it was a ficking, annoying, yeah. arrogant brat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was sent to his children. So, okay, did you turn off light. the automated uh, weapon system also? Yeah, Francesca said I should. Cool, I just thought it was worth mentioning. So we have... We actually have light and no guns about to start shooting at us. That's good. Um, well, no automated guns, at least. She might have snuck up. Or try to get the lights on. Yes, she might have. Okay. Perhaps you should check with the stormtroopers. Well, I uh, touch the Vox speed and uh, and tell them that uh, um, we cannot be certain if something has managed to get out due to a power outage in the whole uh, building. Consequently. Uh, I urge them to be uh, extra aware if something is approaching. And then I switch it off again. It's don't need to, to really get a, a, a response because somebody might be listening in. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. Yes. And then what? Then, well, we are supposed to. Uh, well, we are in there, in the system. It's 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 open, so it must be possible on this thing to see what cell this creature that we're here for was kept in. Hmm. I try to look for it. Okay. And is there a, is there a print function on this cogitator? Not all of them have one. There is on this one. Okay, um, then I should really, really, really like to see a prisoner manifest. Okay. Cool. So you, you, uh, Medea, you try to find out where where she's, where her cell is. Um, was well, so she's probably was. not in it anymore. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. And, um, and you, you, you figure out which which section of the the facility she's. She's located in, uh, or yeah. her cell is. Yeah. And then and I transfer it to the data slab thingy yep. she has. Yeah. And you you print out a manifest, a, a copy of the manifest as well. And it, it's imagine one of these uh, ancient printers where it's like, <laughs> and it comes out. Yeah. And, uh, hey, Francesca. Mm -hmm. Is this long list of names what you're looking for? Yes, please. Thank you. All right. And uh, Francesca, while we are here anyway, and there are other people keeping a lookout, she b begins quickly scanning down over this, not only to find her name, mm -hmm. but she wants to see, she wants to get a, an overview of how many prisoners there are supposed to be here at the time when this whole thing went down. Okay. Um, she wants to know... Basically, she wants to know if there is any system to who is kept in what cell blocks. Because that might be valid information if we are going to walk through one of these cell blocks and we come across these people. <laughs> okay, so the, the, uh, as, as, as you walk through the, this section you're in, you or, or do you do you check out the check these things before you start moving again, or I I check it before before I start okay. moving. Okay. Okay. So as uh, what you what you do notice uh, first of all, the count is uh, at the point where the distress signal was sent out. the uh, The prisoner count was uh, one thousand three hundred and seventy five. Okay. And the they are indeed uh, uh, 
there's there's a method to to the sections and which prisoner is placed in which section. Um, Good. But it's 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 not really a pattern that's readily readily. Um, no, but it at least means that if I roll up this prisoner uh, manifest as a scroll, I will. Mm -hmm. Whenever we get to a new section, I'll yep. be able to reasonably quickly ascertain. Okay, yep. this is where they kept prisoners who really, really like the color blue, and it's illegal, yep. or you know, whatever. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And it's also eleven o'clock. Yep. I just felt like pointing it out. Yep. So I think we'll 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 stop there for now, and we'll we'll pick up with you guys trying to find this Alvena yes. next time. Do we get XP this time, though? You do get XP this time. What? You, what? Because I should really like to buy awareness. You. <laughs> I'm just saying. You. <laughs> you get 200 XP. Yes. Then I do get. Ex then, I, then I actually do get awareness. Yep. Huh. And it also takes us up to rank two if we spend another hundred. So now yep. I'm at rank two, and and you've now unlocked two. a whole list of new abilities. You can Yay! Purchase. That is definitely one them. something I'm doing then. I um, have twelve budget rolls in a row. <laughs> absolute wow. madness! I've never one, seen anything two, like it, oh, especially five. considering that with the plus ten, you were at what fifty-five. Yeah, it was crazy. It was 55. Insane. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Her okay. intelligence is 31. Okay, it would so be she's at 41. 41. But that's still insane to roll that many in a row where you it didn't is. succeed. It is. It's madness. Madness, anyway, I say. Madness. I think I think we'll wrap it up here. So for our dear audience, we'll see you. Or may not see you, but we'll be playing again. Indeed. 14 days from now, and, and we do hope yes. you'll, you'll stick around and see what happens to the poor acolytes as they try to find this oh strange, strange prisoner. So, until next time. Bye. Yes. Bye bye. Bye.